How to beat Hyrule Warriors. Tips and tricks from the Game Masters at the Backlog Room. The Legend of Zelda is really rad. And in Zelda 2, the adventure of Link, the creatures from Ganon are pretty bad. But are you ready for Zelda's biggest challenge yet? Hyrule Warriors pitch you against armies of tens of thousands, and you'll need all the help you can get if you want to stop Ganon, the Prince of Darkness, from ever returning again. <laughs> Take control of the Swordman Link in this first battle against the Minions of Evil. After helping the Goron Captain in the Northwest, Grab the bombs, a useful item familiar to players of Zelda's first adventure. Use these to clear the way in the area directly to the south. Make sure that Zelda safely reaches the Fairy's Fountain in the southeast. Activating the magic circle inside will deal an explosive blow to the enemy army. The giant rhinoceros, Dodongo, has thick skin, and your attacks won't do much damage. If you haven't played The Legend of Zelda, then you might not know that Dodongo dislikes smoke. When he opens his mouth to attack, that's your chance to throw a bomb inside. Opening up the weak point, attack to end this quickly. Find your way through the lava caves of Elden. As the battle advances, your allies will deploy a giant robotic explosive rat to clear the way to the exit. Protect it at all costs as it slowly scampers along. Open gates that block its path by claiming outposts as your own. You will need to protect two more explosive rats, as well as defeat Wizro, the Twisted Wizard, to safely reach the exit. You'll meet Lana here in Farron Woods. Piranha plants spew a deadly poison, blocking your advance. Head to the southwest corner of the battlefield to find the bow and arrow. With this tool, you can weather the unwanted weeds with a well-placed whack of an arrow. After Wizro sets fire to the big tree, search for the fairy's fountain. You'll find her in the northeast. It's Goma, the super huge crab with a hard shell that repulses any attack. Be patient and dodge its giant laser beam shot. Its eye will then turn blue, fire an arrow, and then attack while it's stunned. Fight toward the top of the ruins to confront Sia, the evil sorceress. <laughs> Don't let Volga, the dragon man, have his way on the battlefield. Dodge his short jumping lunge attack to have a chance to hit his weak point. The only weakness of the vines that block your way is the boomerang. Find this tool in the area just west of the summit. When you reach Sia, there's a change of plans. You'll have to stop Mandala. Seek out Mandala's hands that sprout up around the map. They're no match for the boomerang. But then the real Mandala appears with four armored hands. When the hands turn green, throw your boomerang. When all hands have been stunned, the core will open up for your attack. Sia casts a magic spell that lets you preview locations that will appear in many future games, including Zelda 15, the Skyward Sword and Zelda 64, the Osarina of Time. The group splits up and heads to these new battlefields. Ampha and Shriek head to Death Mountain to rescue the Zola Princess from the clutches of the evil Gorons. Beware the boulders. The boulder launcher forts near the center of the map will not only prevent your army from advancing, but they will also quickly destroy your headquarters if you don't capture them for yourselves quickly. Be ready when the madman Darunia appears on the battlefield. He advances on your headquarters sooner than you might expect. After he throws a lava rock, that's your chance to attack his weak point. Stop the Gorons from reclaiming the boulder keeps. Once they are secure, the gate to their headquarters will be demolished. Then head into the chief's chamber and destroy the ghost to drain Darunia's power before defeating him and forcing him to join you. You've finally found Zelda, but it appears that she has turned sides and is helping the enemy. Keep Zola Princess Ruto safe while you take the forts that control floodgates so that they can be opened. 
Once Ruto is captured in the central chamber, you'll have to take the forts within the water temple to open the floodgates yourself. Zelda is vulnerable after a Triforce attack. Don't miss this opportunity. After defeating Zelda, you discover that it wasn't the real Zelda. It was that wily wizard, Wizro. Surprisingly, it then turns out that Sheik was the real Zelda all along. Zelda now joins the party, but don't worry, you can still play as Sheik. Save the bug girl. She's in the southwest corner of the map. Make sure she remains safe as she moves about and unlocks enemy gates. The black spots of the map will be filled in as you take the forts. A new army appears on the map. Minda's forces appear in yellow, but they are your enemy too. When the path to Minda opens in the northwest, you must defeat her to win the battle. She's most vulnerable after performing a wolf high jump. Minda and Agatha have joined the fight. Capture the forts in the east to find a hookshot, a clever new tool that will allow you to reach high places in the battlefield. Once the Orgarok appears, the enemy army will attack ruthlessly. Use Lana's magic circle in the west to repeal the Orgarok. You'll have to use two more magic circles before you can fight the creature normally. When the tail glows blue, that's your chance to yank it from the sky with a hookshot. Zant, the Chicken King, uses a lot of wild and surprising attacks. Watch for when he accidentally performs useless moves that cause him to stumble. Then slap him silly while he's stunned. There's a lot going on in this battlefield. Head for the statue shrine in the middle to recruit the high-tech sword computer Fee. Aid Fi as she helps transport the giant bowls of pumpkin soup to the whale god, who will return the favor by creating new paths. Stop Gyrahim from taking your headquarters. When he vanishes, move away quickly, then attack. Don't underestimate Volga. He's much tougher this time. You've got a great opportunity to attack his weak point when he returns to human form after becoming a dragon. Once you defeat him, he becomes even tougher than ever before. He'll make short work of you unless you run away. Head to the fairy fountain with Fee to weaken Volga and ensure your victory. Beware, evil magic will cause your ally soldiers to go turncoat. When the giant black beast appears, pop his toes to cause him to fall over. When he flies up out of reach, take West Cannon Keep to use the Grusinator and send him falling back to the ground. Defeat Gyrahim to end the battle. The time has finally come for you to get the magic sword. After your friends activate some statues, you must defeat the leader of the ghosts before the temple doors will open. Something seems fishy about Lana. Find the Lana lookalike. With the temple now open, search with Zelda to find the resting place of the magic sword and take it. After you defeat Wizro inside the temple, head to the western part of the map to help Zelda and ensure that the wretched wizard never comes back. Equipped with a magic sword, it now seems that Link can take on any challenge. After capturing the magic fort surrounding the sorceress chamber, confront Sia. Uh-oh, Sia has created a shadowy figure from Link's dark side, Shadow Link. Don't worry, this is just a cheap imitation. Seek out and defeat more dark links that run around through the battlefield. Hope you're fleet of foot because these are some spry shadows. Suddenly, Ganondorf, Ganon's right-hand man, appears to claim your Triforces. You might want to keep an eye on Zelda while you seek out the rest of the evil links. After you and your allies defeat the last one, you have to escape. Make sure everyone has a clear path to safety. Fight Ganondorf outside the temple to stop him from stealing Zelda's Triforce. After claiming the sanctums in the east, west, and north, Help Rudo reach the fairy's fountain. This will become your new base, and you must defend it at all costs. Think you're ready for one last battle against the Dragon Man? 
Beware the confrontation with Sia at the summit. She can split into multiple copies. Destroy all the clones to defeat Sia once and for all. As it turns out, Zelda and Link had nefarious intentions all along. Now take control of Ganondorf as he and his friends Zant and Girahim set out to make things right. Even the might of Ganondorf isn't enough if the giant boss monsters unite against him. Defeat them before they come together. Remember the strategies from before. The evil Lana and Impa stand between you and Hyrule Castle. Don't be discouraged by Impa's doppelganger tactics. These doubles aren't very tough. If an Impa does a leaping shock blast, that's when she's vulnerable to attack. Lana does the cowardly clones trick too. Defeat them both to win the battle. It's time to take the Triforces of Wisdom and Courage back from the clutches of Zelda and Link. Don't underestimate this duo. If one is defeated, their dark magic will revive them after a short time. Don't let this happen. You must bring down both Zelda and Link at the same time if you are to be victorious. That crooked Ganondorf was deceiving us all along. Zelda and Link really are the good guys. And they have to stop Ganondorf and his cronies from once again reviving their master, Ganon. Don't leave your allies alone. Ignore Zant for now. Even Link has a tough time surviving out in this desert heat, so stick with your friends to keep up their health and morale. The final confrontation with Zant and Girahim is in the Northeast Fort. They fight much like before, but don't underestimate their combined power. Hang in there and fight with courage. At last, Ganon's Tower. This is the final battle. All of your skills will be put to the test. Do you have what it takes to stop the return of Ganon? Watch out! When Ganondorf appears in the battlefield, he calls on Thunderbird, and bolts of lightning will continuously strike from the skies. If you see a purple glimmer on the ground, steer clear. Take the Castle Keep in the southwest, and then fight Ganondorf. Move away when he prepares a dark explosion, but quickly move back in to attack him while he's weak. You did it! But wait! Ganondorf's defeat has only served to resurrect his master, Ganon. Notice how different parts of the beast's body act like the giant boss monsters you fought before. You'll need to use all of your tools in the correct timing. Think you've got it figured out? After these parts have been destroyed, Zelda equips you with the silver arrows. Ganon's forehead will shine with a purple gleam after a dash attack. Be in position to fire a silver arrow and bring the monster tumbling to the ground. You've done it! Hyrule is saved, the Triforce is yours, and Ganon is now gone forever. Interested in hot tips for more Zelda games? Check out How to Beat Zelda 9, The Wind Walker. Playing with friends? You won't want to miss How to Beat Super Mario 3D World with Friends. Check out these and more How to Beat video cassette guides for all the coolest tips and tricks straight from the Game Masters at the Backloggery.